fall rise off in the sunset sweep the snow from my doorstep i just can't help but stop and grin it's like i'm five years old again and everywhere i go i can feel it some say it moves like a spirit it falls on us once a year like it came on a midnight clear. it's all of the season is a gift when love came down to let us live Let's open up and let our hearts embrace this moment For Christmas this Darling, when I won't be here anymore, I want you to remember. <coughs> you will never be alone. Jesus, he will always protect you and keep you safe. I want you to remember I entrust you to him. The main part, to believe. scaring away the customers. Oh, Audrey, why? She was just looking. What is your name, child? Katie. You are freezing to death. You must go home, warm yourself by the fire, and drink a cup of hot chocolate. I don't have a home. No home? Where are your parents? They're in heaven. Poor child. How can this be? Where do you sleep? Wherever I find a warm place. 
I just cannot allow you to stay outside by yourself. I rent a tiny corner in a house and work as a cleaning maid in this store. The pay is not all that great, but at least I have a roof over my head. Come with me, get warm, and then when I get off work, you can tell me about everything. Really? Of course. I cannot leave you outside all alone. You're just a baby. How old are you? Five? I'm seven, ma'am. Seven years old. Come, I will take you home, and when I finish work, I will immediately return. You're so kind. I don't know how to thank you, but I don't want to be a burden. Let me help you with your work. You said you cleaned the store? Yes, but you are freezing to death. You are in no condition to work. To be honest, my whole life I wanted to come into the store to look around. I have locked everything up and turned off the lights. Some pesky boy overturned and broke a flower pot. Clean it up and make the floors spotless. Okay, Audrey. Have a good night. Well, since you really wanted to come into the store, let's go. Really? Of course. You won't get in trouble because of me, right? This Audrey is very unpleasant. <clears throat> Young woman? She's just a salesperson. The owner of the store is a wonderful woman. She accepted me even without any recommendations and was always friendly and kind, even with a difference in position. Well, then I'd be really delighted to look around this wonderful store. Beautiful! I never imagined there could be such beauty. Wait, you haven't seen everything yet. What? Ready? children? I don't remember. How is that? How can someone forget their own child? A year ago, I woke up in the hospital with total amnesia. And since then, I have been trying to find some answers, at least something that would help me remember who I am and where I came from. Sometimes, I see something that brings to mind a picture, but it's not clear enough to hold on to. This is the only thing I have left from my past life. To my favorite girl, thank you for this gift. It's very pretty. 
My mother always said, no matter what happens, Jesus leads us through this life. Sometimes he takes us on a path that we don't really like. But in the end, everything comes together. Like a puzzle, all the pieces find their place and we finally understand why it was so and not another way. You are too wise for such a young age, you know that? I would like to believe so. <laughs> but now, Show me where I could get some washcloths, and I will help you clean this wonderful place. I love Christmas so much. It is the most wonderful holiday. Of course. All children love Christmas. Who doesn't like to get presents? No, I love Christmas because on this day, Jesus was born. The shepherds are led, a star in the sky. On the outskirts of town, a new baby cries. No room at the inn, no crib to be found. Oh, but look at him now. He is the Presents and toys, tales of Saint Nick, tidings of joy. As we celebrate the miracle birth, oh, right here on this earth, He is the reason for the season. He is the light that shines on us. It all came back to me. Jesus came into this world to save us. He was born in a little town, Bethlehem, from a young virgin, Mary. So Jesus' mom's name was Mary. Mary, I think. No, I'm sure. My name is Mary. My name is Mary, I remember. You see, soon you will remember everything else. Jesus will help you. If it weren't for Jesus, I would have frozen or died of hunger out in the streets. But he always cared for and protected me and brought me to you. I thank him for this with all my heart. Yes, me too. This is wonderful. My name is Mary. For some reason, I have this feeling that I used to talk with a girl about your age. Maybe you were a teacher. Maybe.
Today was just crazy. There were tons of customers before Christmas. Everything will be all right. Don't worry. Bye, Katie. Did you hear that? She said my name instead of calling me a dirty freeloader, like every other time. Your sincerity and warmness are able to melt the most hardened hearts. Don't move! Which one do we take? Any. What do you mean, any? When you're gonna steal a doll for yourself, you can get any. I want that one. Are you okay? Yes. What about you? Me too. But the doll! They stole the doll! What are we going to do? What will happen to us? I'll definitely get fired and we'll have nothing to live on. Don't worry. We will surely think of something. These dolls are worth a fortune. I wouldn't be able to save so much in a whole year. Unless I sell. No, no way. Wait, I have an idea. If I change into this, then no one will notice anything. But you cannot spend the rest of your days in a box. We need time to think of how to find the money. For now, I will be a doll. You look great, but how are you going to- Don't worry, everything will be all right. I promise. We will surely think of something. Well, all right, but only for a few days.
You are helping me greatly. What would I do without you? Thank you so much. Tomorrow, I'll bring you sandwiches for lunch and close the box so that you can eat. We'll need to think of something really soon. Of course, don't worry about me. Everything will be all right. dressed like this. How do you know me? I have been hiding here from the cold for a week already and come out at night for a bite to eat after you have left, but you stayed behind today. So you are homeless? No, it's just that my parents are super stingy and don't love me at all. My dad didn't even want to buy me this doll. That's why I ran away and started living here, to be closer to them. You ran away? Your parents must be going crazy from worrying. Don't you feel even a little bit sorry for them? Don't you miss them? Honestly, I do miss them. But I won't go back. Believe me, these dolls are worth a fortune. And if your dad couldn't buy you one, that doesn't mean he's stingy or doesn't love you. He just couldn't allow himself to spend so much money on a toy. You need to understand that every day, your family needs a warm home, food, clothes, and all of this is very, very costly. Every day your father gives you invisible presents. Be it your favorite food on the table, or wood in the fireplace where it's warm and comfortable, or new boots and a coat so that you don't freeze during the winter. Have you ever thanked your mom and dad for food or clothes? Uh, no, never. You see, and I'm sure you had all of that. Yes, we live in a big white house, and Mom always cooks good food. I'm so hungry. I think you should immediately return home and ask your parents for forgiveness, that you scared them so much. You think so? I am sure you must not scare your parents like this, especially not right before Christmas. You must spend this holiday with your family and thank Jesus that he came into this world and gave us salvation. I really want to go home, but I'm afraid my dad will punish me. Believe me, he will be happy that you returned. And if you ask him for forgiveness and repent, then maybe you might even avoid punishment, but you must be sincere. I will try. Thank you.
Audrey! Audrey, where is the red box with the doll? What? The doll, in the red box. Oh, we sold it this morning. What? You sold it? Yes, a very considerable gentleman came and bought that doll. Oh no! What's going on here? Mary, why didn't you say anything right away? I would understand. It's not your fault that I was robbed. I was very frightened. I understand, but now I don't know what to tell you. The gentleman who bought this doll was clearly not from the city. I would know. And he didn't leave any personal information. I'm sorry, but if this can give you comfort, he looked very nice and I think once he figures out what happened, he will surely bring the girl back. And what if he doesn't? What if he gets so angry that he just sends her out into the cold alone? My poor Katie. She wanted to help so much. Sophie, have you already seen your gift? If you think you can buy your way out with expensive gifts, you are deeply mistaken. I don't need your gifts. I need my mother. And until you find her, I will not talk to you anymore. Sophie, sweetie, you know that I, the police, and private detectives are doing all that is possible. But it has been so long that the chance that she is still... Don't alive. tell me that! You see, you don't even believe that she is alive. How can you say that someone is looking for her if you yourself don't believe that she is alive? Sweetie, please. Don't touch me! Sorry. Who are you? Where did you come from? Don't be afraid. My name is Katie. The doll from this box was stolen, and I took her spot for now so that it wouldn't be empty. And your dad decided to buy me. And I'll tell you one thing, your dad loves you very much. Why would you say that? To pay so much money for a doll is simply insane. When I found out how much I, well, I mean, how much this doll cost, I almost fainted right inside the box. My father is just trying to pay off his sins. A little more than a year ago, he went to the store with my mom and lost her there. She just disappeared. I'm so sorry, but can sins be paid for with a doll? Only Jesus can forgive sin. No, he did wrong against me and only I can forgive him. And I don't believe in Jesus anymore because my mom prayed to him all the time, but now she's gone. But today is Christmas. How can you not believe in Jesus if you are celebrating his birthday today?
I was taking a trip on the train the other day, just wishing that I could get out. When the man next to me saw the book in my hand and asked me what it was about, so I settled back in my seat. Bestseller, I said, a history, a mystery in one. Then I opened the book and began to read from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. He was born of a virgin one holy night in the little town of Bethlehem. Angels gather round him underneath the stars, singing praises to the great I am. He walked on the water, healed the lame, and made the blind see again. And for the first time here on earth, we learned that God could be a friend. Though he never ever did a single thing wrong, the angry crowd chose him. Then he walked on the road and died on the cross, and that was the end of the beginning. That's not a new book, that's a Bible, he said, and I've heard it all before. I try religion, it's shame and guilt, and I don't need it anymore. It's superstition made up tales, just to help the weak to survive. Let me read it again, I said, but listen closely, this is gonna change your life. He was born of a virgin one holy night in the little town of Bethlehem. Angels gather round him underneath the stars, he praises to the great I am. For the first time here on earth, we learned that God could be a friend. And though he never ever did a single thing wrong, the angry crowd showed him. And then he walked down the road and died on the cross, and that was the end of the beginning. of the beginning he said with a smile what more can there be he's dead you said they hung him and put nails in his hands and a crown of thorns on his head i said i'll read it again but this time there's more and i believe that this is true his death wasn't the end but the beginning of life that's completed in you don't you see he did all this for you. He was born of a virgin one holy night in the little town of Bethlehem. And he sat around him underneath the stars singing praise to the great I am. He walked on the water, healed the lame, and made the blind to see again. And for the first time here on earth, we learned that God could be a friend. Made the blind to see again. For the first time here on earth, we learned that God can be a friend. And that was the end of the beginning. End of the beginning. So. Jesus died for my sins? Yes, he came into this world to give us salvation and died on the cross so we can live. He forgave all our sins and we need to forgive each other. Jesus forgave all my sins. 
so I need to forgive too. Daddy, Daddy! Yes, sweetie. Please, forgive me. I love you so much. I love you too, my princess. Oh, thank you, God. Daddy, this is Katie. You bought her instead of the doll. How did you get in the box? It's a long story, but we need to take her back. Of course. Where did you get this necklace? Isn't it beautiful? Very. So where did you get it? When I was born, my father ordered two identical necklaces for me and my mom. There is an engraving inside. To my favorite girl, you are my gift. My mom said, to my favorite girl, thank, thank you, you for, for this, this gift. gift. How did you know that? What was your mother's name? Mary. I know where your mother is. What? How? You know where my mom is? You know where my wife is? Yes. Let's go. Quickly. Sophie? John! I ask your forgiveness for this misunderstanding and give you our sincere assurance that our store will refund all of your money. This misunderstanding was heaven sent and is the most wonderful Christmas gift. I would pay even more if I knew this girl would return joy and peace to our family. So you don't owe me anything. This is for you as a thank you for helping my wife no matter what and supporting her during difficult times. Thank you, sir. Well, Let's go home. Yes! I'm very happy for you. Merry Christmas. Where are you going? No, my dear. As my husband said, you are our gift from heaven, and we're not letting you go. Of course not. I always dreamed of having a sister. Really? Of course.
I can't believe that it has been a whole year since I found my family again. After that terrible day when I was hit on the head and robbed, I was afraid that I would never again know who I am. But God sent this wonderful gift into my life. I couldn't even hope that you would become the key to my past. And I can't believe it's only been one year. I feel as if this terrible year never happened. And we always lived like this, as one happy family. And that I always had a sister. Who not only united our family, but also showed us the way back to Jesus. And now, Christmas is our most favorite holiday. Because on this day, Jesus was born. Let's go! Sent the 